what's going on everybody dogman dan here we are in gauntlet we're going to take a look at the characters in this video the entrance finally as i said doesn't look like much we supposed to go in together or what's the deal here well i'm going in there you can follow me if you want to watch the show going in as a group seems like the smart thing to do yes that is correct we enter together to face the trials inside Place your coins in the slot. Yes, let's place our coins in the slot. Okay, so basically we're just going to go through each one of these characters here in a moment. Uh, and try to play each one of their different styles during this little tutorial thing. And I'll just kind of quickly talk you through each one. Um, and just show you a bit of each one. So we're on Thor. We're going to start with Thor. Prove your worth. He's our warrior. Ah, behold Thor's fighting prowess. Brute strength is one thing, but can you handle the legions of monsters below? Basically, this tutorial allows you to try out all four uh, characters, so you know which one that you like. And uh, Thor has his light attack, which we're doing. He has a cleaving attack, a spin attack, and a rush attack as well. Fairly easy to work with Thor. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty basic, though. He does have. A big, like, uh, battle axe. But he's definitely fun to play. So we'll try out all of his abilities. As part of the tutorial, you have to run all of the abilities. He might do. Might do. Clearly you haven't heard of me. Alright, so now we move on to a Valkyrie as our next one. Valkyrie. We all remember Valkyrie. They're calling her Thyra in this one. Come on. Focus. A test of your skill. No problem. A Valkyrie's skill with the shield is legendary. But does it hold true? Okay, so she's got a few abilities here as well. It's just straight light attack that we're doing, and here is the spear thrust attack, which is pretty cool. We'll have a shield throw on here, right there, and as well as a shield block ability. Real easy to use Valkyrie. I think she's probably the easiest one to work with, honestly, out of the four. Um... She's light and fast and powerful, so pretty easy to work with on her. Oh, missed. Done. Simple. I see. I hate dark matter. And we die. Okay. Next. Elf. Elf. Huh? Questor. Do you have what it takes to survive? Me? Well, my ball can be pretty good for killing things. You will be over. All right, so well, Questor or the Elf is really easy. Uh, this is the the class that I used to play the most when I used to play the original Gauntlet. Uh, he's a nice ranged. He has some pretty decent range with his with his bow. His right is his sniper shot with his um, arrow. Um, He's got a cool bomb ability. It's just kind of like a mini AoE type of thing, if you will. Take out everything in that area. And that will come in handy. As well as a dodge roll. So he can get out of the way. Which I guarantee you I'll probably forget to do half the time when I'm playing the game. So as you can see, he's got a pretty decent range with the arrows. And we will probably start the game, the actual game, off using him. Like I said, he is the class that I played most in the original game. Just like that. That's how that all works. Pretty nice and easy to work with him. So, I think in terms of uh, in classes right now... I am definitely going for L first, then Valkyrie. 
and then probably the warrior, and the last will be this guy right here. Merlin. So this is the, first the magician. Is your mind up to the he is by far the hardest one to work with, uh, but probably the most advanced and most powerful in terms of what he can do. The wizard here, he has, I think, uh, he has a total of eight different powers, or abilities, powers, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, and here they're allowing us to do chain lightning, fireball, ice beam, and a random other spell, which you have to figure out on your own. Uh, but I know that he has a total of eight different spells that he can work with. So here we go. Now he's going to be the hardest of all of them to work with because of his spells and his combinations that he has to do. Um, though his stuff is seemingly very powerful. So we'll just take a quick look at some of his abilities here. Um, as we go through it. Definitely liking the fireball. Definitely liking the fireball. Okay, so that's it. That's just a quick look at all four of the characters in this game. The way they've set them up. They're very versatile, I think. Uh, as I said, my first choice is going to be the elf, then Valkyrie, then the warrior, then the wizard, uh, if you look at it that way. So next up, we will have some gameplay going through some of the worlds and some of the levels. And I will talk to you a little bit more, go into more detail about the game, how it works, how it operates and all that good jazz. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hit that like button for me if you did. Comments, questions below, and I will try to answer them. Um, if I don't have an answer now, we'll have an answer in future episodes. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you enjoyed this and the other channel content. Enough. Until next time, we'll see you later.